with uh, other differences from 12C in terms of the infrastructure and is in, uh, is in the WebLogic Server Console and the WebLogic Server Enterprise Manage and the Enterprise Manager Console. In 12C, if you go to the WebLogic Server Console, the following are new features that are deployed over there. In 12C WebLogic Server Administration Console, the first option would be the domain partition, which is actually uh, used to control more clusters that are available with the 12C functionality, wherein even coherence can be used. So this is one uh, thing that is much more different than in terms of uh, 11G server in 11G WebLogic Server Console. Secondly, inside the web servers, we have the clusters itself and the coherence clusters, which is the web caching uh, functionality for uh, WebLogic server. So uh, with 12C, this is being provided by default and uh, in most likely scenario, web center content will have a new functional component which would be compatible with, uh, which should be compatible with coherence as a web caching feature, which is not the case with 11G. So if you go to the 12C Enterprise Manager console, it is already uh, much much more um, well synced for the clouds functionality hence the UI for the clouds as well as for the non cloud instances the premise ones are almost the same so that is one of the differences basically over here if you go to the enterprise manager console it is entirely changed in terms of the look and feel and the way it will be displaying the details on the functionalities for each of those applications or the managed servers or the admin server or for the farm or the topology as compared to 11g so uh, the way one can navigate through with this is using the top left corner navigation and selecting which is the particular server that one would, would like to check from here so if you say it is the adf server just select that and it will be bringing up the ui over here There it is, the ADF server is up and running and it shows as one deployment is up. It shows some of the mostly requested items, the um, resources which are being requested most in terms of the usage of this particular managed server. And right on the, uh, and right on the front end itself, immediately it gives you a PC details about the performance of the server. So it's quite interesting to, uh, interesting in terms of the new look and feel and will be a little bit of walkthrough that would be needed to get used to with this new look and feel basically the functionality remains the same it has been made much more richer and much more user friendly in terms of the administrators from the administrators perspective the details and everything are the same as in if one would like to do the monitoring from here these are the set of location these are the set of options that one would have from the enterprise manager for any of the particular managed servers or the applications that we are running OSGI frameworks is another new feature that has come in 12C as compared to 11G but as far as w web center content is concerned this is not something that we would be using on a regular basis.
Okay. Um, apart from this, the other changes that have come across with the, uh, uh, is in the capture side. The capture client will now be available only as a Windows executable and will not be available as a browser accessible one for uh, as was the case in 11G. So that means none of these clients can be run on a Linux instance. It it usually is it will now be downloaded as a, as a as a um, launchable application on the desktop for the uh, for the Windows side, and only from Windows clients will this be available to be run. So that is one major change in terms of capture and from the capture perspective of between 11G and 12C. Then um, the other differences are JDK 8 has to be used with uh, Web Center Content 12C, whereas it was 1.7 up to 1.7 uh, plus uh, in 11G. So here it is, the web center viewer is, this is the, uh, uh, unlike in 11G, we have a new link for web center viewer, which is the link for the web center content EDF UI. This is available because of the fact that now EDF UI is along with the web center content itself. So this is something that has come across as a new feature so without having to log in or rather having to launch the subway, um, EDF UI from another browser session. When can you select this and be able to view how exactly it would look like on the ADF UI. So this would give a much more better functional um, perspective or the look perspective when the same will be deployed for a mobile interface using the ADF implementation. So as I was mentioning earlier, one can select uh, the contents that are there in the trash and set it to restore or restore revision which would be like one particular revision will be restored based on what exactly we give over here. For example, I would say I want to play revision 1. So I would just select restore for the revision 1, the rest of the revisions will not be restored back to the um, uh, parent folder, the own revision which has been selected alone will be restored. So this is a pretty cool feature with the new 12C instance. The new DIS client and the new site studio designer files are over here. Uh, the these are the So this is how the video renditions would look like and be available for display from here. These renditions have been created using the FFmpeg open source um, application uh, which as I mentioned is the by default one that is available which is what is by default uh, configured to be used as a video rendition tool with Web Center Content 12C. So this gives you a basic um, idea about how things have uh, changed a little bit in terms of uh, 
in terms of functionalities or the new features that have come across in UCM as compared to 11G and the more we will be able to use it the more new functionalities we will be able to explore and see how things have become better.